All right, welcome back. Hello, everybody. So we left off at our new note, and now I promised you last time that we would change some of the properties of the note. And that's what we are going to do today. So in order to change some of the values, we have to create a new object. So I hope you know a little bit what new op what objects are because I won't get too much into depth about it. Um, so the way to set one is just by saying note note equals to new note. So that's just if it's just how we create one. And so note that one in the middle is just the name. So we can give it any name, we can also call it merry-go-round, I don't know, whatever you want it to call, I'll just call it note and set it all lowercase. So now that we have our new note, uh, we can set some of the values. So just to change some of the values, all we have to do is just say note dot, and then we can set it. For instance, we can set the pitch to something different. So if we set the pitch to a number like 55, we should get a different pitch than before. So that's just how you do it. it is, I don't, like I said, I won't get too much into depth. Uh, and now to play that note we created up there, uh, we don't want to say anymore play MIDI new note. We want to play the note which we created up there. So if we play that, we should hear a new note. Yeah, yeah, so we heard a different note than before. And so if we change it to 68, 69 for instance, and just play it. So that one's a little higher. So as you can see, if we just set it to something lower, the note's going to be lower. And if we set it higher, the note's going to be higher. So that's how you basically change the note. Uh, if you want to make sure that you have a, diff a certain pitch you want to use, so for instance, if you have the A or an, an A flat, I don't know, C, D flat, D sharp, I don't know, uh, we can use those constants from a class. So there's a different class in the JM package called the JMC. So let's see what the JMC class does. So if we just import that, so import jm.jmc, which is can go ahead into our set pitch method. So note.setPitch, and instead of setting it to a number, we can say JMC. Then think of a note. So for instance, I want to have it to a G sharp. We can say dot G sharp and then you can see the different uh, the different numbers. So that's the octave. So G sharp and the, the lowest octave and then to the highest octave. So we want to set it to the fourth octave, which should be somewhere around the middle. If we play that, we get a G sharp. So yeah, that's how you play a certain note if you want to make sure that it is one. And for instance, if we want to change the volume of the note, we can say note dot uh, set dynamic. And this one is taking an integer as well, but of course we don't know what all those integers mean. So we can go into the JMC class again 
and say we want to have a pianissimo note. So that's going to be pretty fairly fairly silent. So we can say jmc.pp, which stands for pianissimo. Yeah, so if you might have heard that note was a little, little, little not so loud. Yeah, that made sense. Uh, okay, going back. So now, uh, now we changed the dynamic, we changed the pitch. Well, we can also change the duration, the length of the note. So there are two ways to do it. So the first way to do it is just by saying note.setLength and then the number we put in there is basically just seconds, the amount of seconds we want to uh, let it be. So for instance, if you want to set it to three seconds, we say three, and then we can run that program again. One, two, three stops after three seconds. And the second way how you can change the duration of the length, uh, the duration of the length, the duration of the note is by saying note.setDuration uh, and instead of setting it to a different, uh, you know, the, to the amount of seconds, you can set it to, for instance, uh, quarter notes, half notes, full notes, all that. So instead of taking the number and saying, yeah, that's going to be the seconds, it just says, okay, we have one beat, so I think one is going to be the quarter note. And if, if we want to set it to a sixteenth, we can set it one divided by sixteen or if we want to make sure that it is actually the right length, we could just can say jmc dot, uh, then as a duration, let's say eighth note. So we can say eighth note. And so it's going to be an eighth note long again. Yeah, so that's how you change some of the properties. So that's basically a little introduction on how to uh, manipulate the note, set different values to it. I uh, hope it was helpful and just go ahead, experiment with it a little bit. Let's see what you can do with it. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon again. But thank you for. Bye.